Smartphones have so much become an integral part of our daily lives, so much so that their batteries couldn't even keep up with our daytime needs, which leads to charging them overnight. Or what better time to recharge them than when we're well disconnected from social media? Sleeping. But then have you ever thought about what could happen to your plugged phone when you're fast asleep? Well, it's not time to think, because that is exactly what I'm going to show in this video. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the red button below this video to subscribe and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. Ready to be wowed? Let's get into it. So, you left your phone charging overnight and your phone hit 100% charged, okay? Now, don't burst out your party poppers just yet, there's more. During overnight charging, your phone constantly uses the battery to stay functional much like all living things, and when consumption happens, recharging is inevitable. Opening up a hell of short-lived battery for whoever couldn't bear to replace their phones every year or two. If you do, however, well, you may skip this video. But if not, then here is why you should never charge your phone overnight. Number five, stress on lithium-ion battery. There's no arguing that Li-Ion is superior among batteries, but a champion is not without his weakness. In fact, Li-Ion suffers from stress when dwelling at 100%, and when it does so consistently month after month, its recoverable capacity will drop. Though the decline may not amount to much in the short run, it does leave a dent in the battery capacity that will be a long-term thorn in your side. Number four, battery drain. If you plug your phone overnight, you're increasing the time that it needs to charge fully. As a result, you'll notice the battery drains out faster as the phone is already used to being fastened to a power source. The effects may, however, not be immediate, but you will notice them after two to three years. Three, for safety reasons. However much this is overlooked, it's not impossible. Your phone can heat up to the point that it catches fire. That worry seems relatively justified since it was only a few years ago that Samsung's Galaxy Note 7s were bursting into flame due to battery issues. But unless a device has some serious manufacturing defects as that phone did, the fire in your pocket or on the nightstand aspect is unlikely. Two, can reduce your phone's capacity. Usually your phone's charger turns off when the battery is full. This is a mechanism that prevents overcharging. However, the charger will continue to charge to compensate for the small bit the phone is consuming. As such, your phone will be bounced between fully charged and a bit below charge, and which can reduce its charging capacity over time. Number one, what about the heat during overnight charging? The trickle charge can cause your phone to heat up especially if you've put it under the pillow or on a stack of books. And while it may not cause fire outbreaks, it can damage your battery by making it swell up. If you are to leave your phone charging overnight, therefore it's recommended that you place it on a metallic surface to absorb the excess heat. Wrapping up, is charging the phone overnight bad? Not a concern if you seasonally upgrade to a new phone, otherwise your daily convenience may return to bite you in a year or so in the form of shortened battery lifespan, and it goes downhill until you send it to a repair shop or a dealer for a battery replacement. And that's it on the list, but just before we go, here are quick tips to reduce overnight charging degradation. Plan your charging before bedtime. Use a slow charger. Unplug as soon as you wake up. Use an auto cutoff charging cable power outlet. Charge overnight on a cool and flat surface. Remove thick phone casing before plugging in. Found these tips useful? Give it a thumbs up and hit the red button to subscribe. Until we meet again, charge carefully, guys.